The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat in four sides. Mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corner beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info that's right it's time for the most moral man in all the world to fix your problems you troubled souls it's called what would brady do it's brought to you by our friends at mmp guns when brady can't solve your problems guns can <laughs> <laughs> That's the way the Italians like it. <laughs> MP guns. They got everything you've ever needed for your weaponry. Uh, ammo, all the stuff, all the accoutrement. If you want to uh, add on to your gun, put uh, sights on there. You got all sorts of things. They'll help you out. Plus, they're, uh, they're certified. They'll build it. They'll get it back to standards where you want it. They'll get that thing serviced and ready for you. So head on over there. MP guns. They've got everything you need right now. And that is a, uh, a business that is thriving. So hop over there. 12th Street and Indian School. MP guns. Thank you for sponsoring What Would Brady Do? Uh, I just got this before we get into it. It says, uh, hi, this is Kip. I'm husband to Mike the Defacer. We all know Mike. Uh, oh, the a, yeah, went Squiggy. Out, yeah, yeah, went out to wreck the Tom Mix memorial and put Squiggy all over it to uh, make mem- Squiggy's memorial. Kip is Mike's husband. Hmm. Oh. I caught a bit of the discussion this morning, and I have one word to say to solve your dry Dippin' Dots problem. Bidet. It's not a, it's not a constant problem. It was a one-time <laughs> thing like 30 years ago. Uh, Asians and Europeans have it figured out. I bought one for my bathroom last year, and it has changed our lives. Be well, be clean, be cool, Kip. That's right. I would imagine gays are big on bidets to avoid the uh, the problem with the Skittles. <laughs> Dougie Fresh. I can imagine that uh, gay life in America in the 50s and 60s was a common sound. <laughs> I got back there again. Sorry. It's like the brawny man. Uh, are you ready, Brady? Yeah, I put those power Sorry, washers in. Put the seats in on my toilets. Yeah, it's great. great. Yeah, I want the I want the full electric ride. I want the I don't want an addition. I want the toilet. I want the thing. Oh, not much better. So I take a shower after every one because I'm a goddamn human. But being. if you had a bidet, would yep, you'd still shower afterwards, soap. or would you just bidet it? Soap. Okay. Soap. Gotcha. Saddlewood. Gets, soap gets off the poop. Yeah, you get that sandalwood off there, and you get your, your bottom smells better. You can't just hose it off. <laughs> Again, I ask you, if I covered your chest in feces, would you just take a garden hose to it? <laughs> or would you go inside, scrub the soap? Butts are different. No, they're not. Uh, dear Brady, I hate the modern world. This one starts. I'm 90% sure my daughter is gay. I'm 100% positive her best friend is. They hang out together constantly. They're in the eighth grade. And I mean lesbians. I'm fine with that part. But I didn't even think about this. What do I do about these sleepovers they've been asking about? Uh, They've hung out together. We've had her over a couple of times. It's becoming strange. I would never let my straight daughter have her best male friend over. What do we do? My wife and I are in a quandary. Richard. Good question. You got what you're pretty sure is a gay daughter. The friend is super gay. Can you still allow sleepovers? They're going to experiment. A lot. (laughs) That's why I make sure you have a bidet. That's right. Clean her uh, ass. Uh, let the slumber parties happen. You do? You would? You would let Kirby have a male friend well, stay the night? then how would it uh, – here, here's the problem. If yeah. you say, no, she can't stay over, but some other girls can. Well, they just – that's like the that, thing. That, There's no – that it's an all or nothing. Yeah. You cut off the slumber parties, you got to cut them off yeah, for everybody. Exactly. Right. So, so, so you, that's That's fine. a tough one. But I would say I'm – yeah, I'm okay with the slumber party. No kidding. What if you had a gay son and his gay friend? You didn't know they were gay yet. They hadn't announced it. Would you let them go in there and, and play tummy sticks? <laughs> Would you let oh, the kids yeah. stay all night? Yeah. You just don't yeah. care anymore, bud. <laughs> He's over it. 
You're, you're, can't you're, stop when train. Yes, you can. You, this, it, nothing about a, a child's sex life is a moving train, Brady. That's the job of a parent is to stop that. Can't stop a moving train is the worst advice for eighth grade sex. Well, they're eighth grade now. It's going to happen. I don't know what to do if you had a lesbian kid. I think you'd have to kind of slow that down, right? Let them do it in alleys and on buses like we all had to do, like or bread at the fun part. What if they're Damn. all of a sudden, I guess if they, if they're a couple, mm-hmm. but that not. maybe take, takes it to the level. You know, like if they're very, they're showing PDA, like in front of you, kissing right. each other, then you'd probably say, yeah, no slumber parties. But you're not, you know, you're not preventing anything else because what if they're hanging out in the afternoon? Well, it's the same thing, though, like as a house right. during the day. But if it's a if it's a boy and a girl in the house, you keep an eye on that. Yeah, is it mainly just pregnancy? Is that the only that's reason they big, care about? That's oh yeah. If you let them slap donuts, you're like, go ahead, have at it. <laughs> Nothing bad yeah, can happen you're here. In a, you know, I guess junior high, high school. I mean, you know, they'll find places. Sure, but that's the that's the job of the parents to but make sure don't they don't feel, have a you safe You never feel place. comfortable with like, okay, well, we're giving you the green light. Right, you want to stay over here. You're welcome to. Yeah. You I know there were a couple of uh, each other. parents that were okay with that. With the with the boy girls stay over. Yeah, really? Not, yeah, not anywhere near my house. Man. No, and man. it wasn't. Um, there, it was either. It was a single parent usually. And my dad was rooting for me, and he'd never allow that. No. The girl's not staying all night. I remember one time my sister's best friend fell asleep on the couch, and I fell asleep on the other side of the couch, and we were feet to feet. My dad woke us up. Get off the couch. Not sleeping on the couch together. She was like sixteen. I was twelve. I couldn't have done anything. I mean, I was adorable, but like in a Ricky Schroeder way, she'd have just <laughs> tussled my hair. Probably some of it would have fallen out. But uh, yeah, he was like upset about it. He's like, I don't even sleep in that same. You get off that. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah. What do you think? I'm just going to roll over and nocturnally emit? <laughs> <laughs> Could happen. I don't need you making babies at 12. So he just drew a line. That, yeah, that, that's that, the that main. Was, yeah. Like, if I had a girlfriend over, my parents wouldn't even let me have the door closed. Oh, yeah, the door stayed like, open. You were, we were, you're open. you're yeah. not going back to that bedroom. I went to a girl's house once. We weren't even dating. We weren't allowed out of, the, like, the main room. Oh, really? No. You're like, this is where you do. She can go to her room by herself. Can't do that. And then from that day forward, I was afraid of, like, ever going in. Like, even when I was in my 20s, I went to the – I was 20, and the girl I was dating was 18. Yeah. I went to her house and her dad's – and he was fine with me going back there. Like, he knew she was getting hosed by – quite a lot of guys for a while so he was used to like the disappointment and i come rolling in with my tornado hair then he's like oh god and then uh she, this one's safe. she's like come back here for a second i'm like i'm not going back your dad's home he's like it's cool yeah she's I, i've walked well, eiffel towers this chick takes it <laughs> what, was your dad that way with your sister too uh eventually she snuck her she nobody could stay yeah she couldn't have people in the room okay yeah the best thing I ever saw was my friend whose uh, sister pretended to be super religious because the mom and dad acted like that. Found this other guy pretending they'd say they'd go in the room and pray. <laughs> we're going to pray. And they bought it. Like they bought the, the story was a buy. We're going to go in there and pray. And they were in there for like 40 minutes praying. And then he'd come out all tired and get in a Suzuki Samurai and drive home. Lant Z. He had a personalized plate that said Lant Z. <laughs> See, Lant Z. It's Lant, you dicks. Later, Lant Z. <laughs> So God, I said, oh, 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 because I hear you praying in there. <laughs> uh, dear Brady, if my son's girlfriend is really ugly and not good enough for my son, what can I do to help end this situation without being an obvious jerk? This woman is gross. They play video games all day and eat. I saw them kiss, thought I'd throw up. She's going to ham him up, lazy slot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her over in the house. Uh, she was the best pal of his last girlfriend who was smoking hot. She had an agenda, stole him away. This mountain is a slug, Brady, and before you get all bothered about it, she's also super lame. She's got zero personality. It's disgusting. How do I do this and kill my son's fat fetish before it becomes an embarrassment to me, anonymous? (laughs) Good luck. (laughs) (laughs) What he sees as beauty is... No. Dad's right. I know, but you can't, I mean, you can't cut it off. No. It's watch Arrested Development because Jason Bateman hated his son's girlfriend. And he used to always say, you know, this Ann girl's very nice, but I think maybe she should go somewhere. Like he always wanted to bring Ann with and he wouldn't come because he hated her because she was boring and ugly. Yeah. 
It was hilarious. That's a tough one. I think you just let, yeah, you got to let it go, right? I mean, the, you know, that's a tough one to begin with because no matter. I got a perfect idea. Plant your wallet in her purse. And then say she tried to steal your wallet. And then she's and then not she's, allowed in the oh, house again. And if that goes. Oh, it goes perfect. You're the authority figure. This girl's took my wallet. I did no such thing. And she's a liar. No thieves in our house. Good day. Put, put like uh, uh, Little Debbie's oatmeal cream pies in her purse <laughs> and some in your wallet. And say, now hold on a second. Like you, you're stealing food. And my wallet's in here. Now, the little Debbies are probably already there. You Look, don't even you, need to put those yeah, in. Those won't last yeah. long. Here's the thing. All you got to do is leave them laying around. She'll stuff some in her purse. <laughs> like cake frosting and things like Just leave it. I just think the she'll risk put of putting bag. the little Debbies in there is you'll never find them. They'll be gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think she'll eat them before she yeah. steal them. Yeah, before you can make the bust. Got to have something to accuse Your her wallet. of theft. The wallet's pretty solid. You like that one? <laughs> You, I think that's a good idea. I think I, I think I'm the champ. I think I get the belt on that one. You accused the uh, the hippo of stealing your wallet. And she's never allowed in my house again. Why'd you steal my dad's wallet? I did it. I just wanted to be with you. Well, what happens when the next manatee he rolls in there come shows <laughs> up? Wallet mean, another purse. wallet again? Wallet. Thing. You keep seeing all, all these, these fatties these are just stealing facts. <laughs> <laughs> like Taco Bell coupons and a wallet. Hey, she's doing it too. I just want to throw Mac Brian. He can't come over anymore. You stole my dad's wallet. You think uh, I did not. the dude that's dating the thousand pound sister? You think his dad's? Oh, oh my Gary God. Payton. Yeah, Gary Payton. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, Gary Payton's dad. Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, stuff your wallet in the fatty's purse with some oatmeal cream pies and accuse her of stealing. If he starts rolling in with another chunk in a few months, I'd love it because then, you know what would be even funnier is when the fat girl comes back crying, I'm sorry I did that. You know she didn't. You'd still have to go, well, all right. You're not allowed in the house for a while anyway. Even though you set it all up, you're the biggest jerk in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you don't no, like this story no. at all. Brady's very uncomfortable Dude. right now <laughs> setting this girl up with a, a misdemeanor. <laughs> Call the police and everything. <laughs> go through the whole deal. I throw did her, two years. Throw her in giant jail. <laughs> just to get out of it. You're just such a jerk already. Why not go the full nine? You just don't like your son's fat girlfriend. Let's do this. <laughs> Set her up with crimes. <laughs> That's my brain at work today. That's fantastic, me. Brady says don't do that, though. Yeah. And this is what would Brady do. <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> Dear Brady, ready for this one. My girlfriend is 27 and I'm 24. My dad is a 42-year-old man. Me young. Uh, and we're better friends than we are dad's son. And evidently, he's my competition in life. And now maybe my enemy. My girlfriend, oh, I got another. My girlfriend, who was six months pregnant, confessed to me three weeks ago that she's not sure the baby's mine, but she never had to tell me. And I said, why? And she said, because I don't think the DNA wouldn't match if we tested. I was very, very confused. Turns out, six and a half months ago, she rode my dad in the hot tub. She couldn't go on with the lie. Sounds like a Pornhub story. Yeah. yeah. I left, but I want to work it out. I haven't seen her in three weeks, but I definitely went back in. What? My, I like that she thinks both will pass the paternity test. I don't know how though. that works. The DNA thing? Yeah. I it's think we DNA. Get, yeah, everybody has different DNA. Even family? Yeah. yeah. No, I thought yeah. if it came back like it was questionable. Yeah, it's similar, yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought like on a paternity test that got no. questionable. No. You can tell like dead out? Yeah. yeah. All right, well then get the test. I was with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's rough. I don't know if dad's DNA came back and the doctors were like, well, it's very close. It will say that. Yeah. But, you know. Because I didn't know. I, f- I figured that the DNA test might come back a little inconclusive if dad's. No. No? No. no. It'll... no. You sure? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, your dad hosts we a girlfriend bring more, in the hot we can tub. Bring yeah, more I don't know. I it, it, the only ones that they had were close were like the uh, that I've seen in the crime stories or the identical twins. Well, that's what I mean because like OJ's case, the Dennis Fung, the big bugaboo was this could be a family member couldn't it? it's like yeah so it's inconclusive that it was him not inconclusive it, will it is say though that, in a court it will room. say that it's a family member right but you, when you when you dial it but in that negates it gets, that it's you i guess that was 30 years ago yeah, dna was, too yeah. so but dennis fung was the one saying yeah it, right because the one question was this doesn't necessarily mean it's oj it could be anybody with oj's dna no 
And that's what they were saying. Then. Yeah, but that, again, that was 30 years ago. Yeah, too. I'm, I'm sure they got yeah. better. Well, I don't know how paternity tests Thank God I don't know how paternity tests work. <laughs> that's right. High five. That's right. <laughs> Brought to you by Hangers. Uh, said, I left to work it out. My dad has been with one of my exes in the past. And in fairness, I messed around with his too. Boy, dad's swinging. Yeah, so is he. What would bring That's you how in? he's Jeffrey. rationalizing it. Oh, it's rationalizing that, like, it. I, I was with one of my dad's yeah. exes. Does this family you, have rationale? Are you yeah. mad at no. your dad or are you, are you slapping high fives? All right, dad, you still got game. Go ahead, Brady. <laughs> what would Brady do if Torp, you thought Torp got your girlfriend pregnant? Well, <laughs> you get the look, test. if he's feeling like he can get over that fact that dad could be the dad. Yeah, that's. That I mean, one is a tough one. I can't. I mean, if you can do that. You got to draw some lines yeah. with dad, though. If you two are sharing Yeah, because chicks. it doesn't sound like, well, if uh, if you say, no, I'm out on that one, and you bring the next one in, what's saying that doesn't happen again? He, he's done it before. Yeah. This sounds like a hillbilly this love triangle. This is a hillbilly yeah. mess. Can you imagine being Eskimo brothers with your dad? <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't that? have bidets there. <laughs> your dad was home earlier. <laughs> Did you not shower? He's linked either way, huh? Because if he, if Dad is the father, she's always going to be. She's there around either way. Yeah, and if he's the father, going to be around either way. Yep. So you might as well stick it out, is what you're saying. If if you can work it out, who do you work yeah, it out yeah, with? Yeah, her but, or the dad? Yeah, but exactly, if it's Dad's exactly. kid, then I, or for you me, know what? That's a hard one. Let to me work just out. say this: yeah. be grateful that you at least have a dad, right, Richard? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was coming. That's. <laughs> That's terrible. Your family's a mess. Why are you adding kids to this? Well, what happens if your dad kicks it? Are you raising your dad's son? And how about getting rid of her? Although, got to give it to her. She's the only brother? one who has any morals. She shows up six months later and goes, right. I got to let you know. Right. What are you talking about? She's a whore. Oh, of course she's a whore. I mean, but so is he. So is well, dad. Yeah, but. Yeah. And so the baby's a whore. Just future whores. The baby's. Pr- the baby's pre- already pre- a whore. Pre whore. <laughs> <laughs> The baby's probably been with uh, another infant in your family already. Oh, There's no lines. Toledo, shut the F up. How do you know that the son's DNA won't match his dad's? <laughs> <laughs> Strong point. <laughs> Consider the well. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you get the test first, and then you, sure. you got to figure out what to do. Because the baby's not born yet, so you don't love it yet. You can handle. You're it gonna off. have to. You might be. Well, you certainly are a redneck, but you might be. You're gonna make. Are you a nephew? You're, you're either be a great no, uh, be a, dad or a great uncle. No, you'd be a brother. No, no, he'd be a brother. He'd be, be brother. brother. Oh God! It's either your step, kid, step half brother. It's yours or your half. <laughs> and to the dad, stop hosing your friends. Or your your friend, your son's daughter's in a hot tub. Besides, the second you're hosing in a hot tub, you are kind of white trash. Right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I'll even say no, that. In high school, no, in high school you weren't. Oh, yeah, no. no but you're in high school because you, you took you know anywhere. What? You are white trash in high school because yeah. you your, your decision-making skills yeah, are no, you're white right. trash yeah. level Get like you. Can. <laughs> and if you're a dad and you're in a hot tub with your teenager, 20-year-old son's 27-year-old girlfriend and you're alone, you are white trash. And what the hell is everybody doing at the same house anyway? Garbage. Look, the 27-year-old, that kid, when you know when the years oh. start adding up, 10 more years, 37, he's 30, she's 37. What? A couple more. He, he, what are we doing, upgrade. man? Some of the worst what? abacus I've math, ever been right? in. He'll want to upgrade a lot so- sooner. The dad or the kid? The kid. The child? Because the girl is seven years older than him, She's right? three years old. She, he's 24, she's 27. Oh, I thought you yeah. said he was 20. Oh, that's what I thought you said, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what that's I was trying to figure out. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to figure it out myself. Right. Mental gymnastics just not ready. there, but <laughs> the Tokyo Olympics will help this. <laughs> I need some Japanese people on this math problem. Uh, dear Brady, my wife and I officially decided to end our marriage this weekend after being separated for 10 months. How soon is too early to get back on the horse? Since we've been separated, I have boned a few women. We both decided to see other people, and I'm fairly confident she's been on a few dates and may have done the same. Sounds like you're on the horse. Yeah, Yeah. so I feel like I'm not rebounding into a new relationship. I also feel like I've already mourned the loss of my marriage. I've been talking to a woman, and she seems cool. I'm not talking about getting married. I feel like going on a few dates, see where the things go. I think I could make something work here. I'm sort of worried 
that if I don't at least ask her out, I may miss the opportunity, but I'm also worried that I may just be jumping into another relationship, which I shouldn't do. What do you think, Robbie? He's bone. Not now. He's looking at somebody. Who goes. I could spend time with this one. horse or horse. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's looking huh? to horse invest. or horse. He's, oh, he's, he's, he's getting back on the horse. <laughs> yeah. And the hoovers. I mean, you know, it comes down to what how you're feeling on that. Obviously, that's starting to change a little. Right. Um. You don't have to. I mean, still take your time with it. It sounds yeah. like you'll know when you're you ready. Know. Yeah, a little bit. That helps. Yeah. I mean, if you can, if you can just uh, scale it. Down to a case where you're like, well, if you still feel like you might be jumping right into it. You're then jumping then, right into it. Yeah. Your body's telling you. I mean, it's a little too it's early. Time. Yeah. And he just doesn't want to be mean to the classy girl at work that he likes. He wants to keep boning these side <laughs> whores in the hot tub. <laughs> then do that. By the way, Nicholas Watts texted and said, ouch, Toledo. That baby in the last letter actually has two dads. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Greedy little look. Yeah. <laughs> Dad havers. Anyway, good ones today. Brady didn't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> the fat girl one was rough on Brady. Accusing her of the crime is awesome, by the way. <laughs> Look, if you're going to write a letter and, and announce, I'm the biggest jerk on the planet, I'm going to jump in your train. I'm going to say, all right, I'll help you out, jerk. You got, you're a jerk. <laughs> follow through. So follow through being the biggest dick in the world. Don't write a letter to a radio station saying, my son's girlfriend's ugly and fat. What do I do to get rid of her? All right, I got ideas. I'm not for them, but I think it's great. You came to the right place. You came to the right guy, and I'm the guy who says, yeah, the accuser of a, of a, of a misdemeanor and get her out of your house. <laughs> threaten, police, <laughs> th- threaten police action and have them do that double up with two handcuffs because she can't get her hands behind her big back. <laughs> Cuff extenders. <laughs> <laughs> Write us a letter and say your son's daughter's too fat for him. Jerk. But if you do follow through with that wallet thing, I need to hear how this ends. So please. Yes, right we back. all do. That's a great one. Really good stuff right there. That's <laughs> I should write a parenting book. Uh, <laughs> there you go. That is what Brady did. It's 98K U P D. Oh my gosh. Shut the front door. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.